Welcome to the Internet Empowerment Series of Video Tutorials, hosted by author Deltina Hay and sponsored by Plum Web Solutions and Drury University's Social Media Certificate Program. I'm Deltina Hay, and these tutorials are based on my book, The Social Media Survival Guide, already in its second edition. Visit my blog at socialmediapower.com for more social media tips and learn more about my book and my availability for speaking engagements at deltina.com. Neither Deltina Hay nor her sponsors are affiliated with any of the services or tools highlighted in this series. In this session, we discuss how to create a custom tab for your Facebook page. Specifically, we're going to talk about how to create a custom landing page like this one. Now, what I mean by this is that typically when somebody comes to your Facebook page, they'll see your Facebook wall. Now, instead of that, Having a custom landing page can actually increase the number of people who like your page because it can offer them some sort of incentive to like your page. For instance, if somebody likes this page, they get entered to win a copy of a social media survival guide. Facebook utilizes iframes to help you create these types of custom pages. And you access these pages down over here like you just saw so your visitors or you can go to your wall, to your information tab, or to any number of other tabs you might have installed on your page, in addition to any custom tabs that you create. For instance, the social media giveaway tab that we just looked at. So the idea is to create an HTML page to specific measurements. In other words, we're going to create an HTML page that is 520 pixels wide by roughly 600 to 650 pixels long. And the iframe application that we're going to develop in Facebook allows us to take that HTML page and wrap it into our Facebook page. I don't know if that sounds really complicated, but they actually make the process pretty easy. Probably the hardest thing would be for you to create the HTML page itself if you don't know HTML. So let's take a look at what I mean by all that. The very first step is to create an HTML page on your website or some other place that might host HTML pages. Uh, for instance, Plum Web Solutions, that's Plum with a B, WebSolutions.com is now offering Facebook page hosting so that you can you don't necessarily have to have your own website in order to host these pages you can actually have a service that will host them for you but preferably if you have your own website you can host the pages yourself for instance here is the page that we just saw the custom tab on Facebook that we just saw and what this page actually is is an HTML page that is hosted on my server socialmediapower.com and it's in a folder and then here's the name of the actual file now we will need to know this full URL right here that points directly to this page when we create the application that will allow us to place it on our Facebook page so once you have your HTML page created, remember you're going to create a page that's no wider than 520 pixels and no longer than 650 pixels. Once you have that page created and you've made note of the URL, then you want to go to facebook.com slash developers. Now, if you don't already have the developer app installed on your profile, you're going to have to go through that process first. So when you go to facebook.com slash developers, it'll ask if you want to install the app on your profile, and yes you do. You go through that process, and then once you've done that, you'll be able to create your new app. So when you click on create new app, you're going to give the app a name. Now that application name is going to be different from the tab and let me show you what I mean by that remember we were looking at our different tabs down here so the application name is actually different than this tab name you're going to establish that name in a later step so let's go back to our app here and I'm going to duplicate the page that I've already created so I'm just going to call this one a test landing page and I'm going to agree to the terms click continue 
and now I need to go through the security check. Okay, now this already has our app, our app name in here. So we're going to scroll down and we're going to make certain that we have at least some sort of a description in here. You would want to give it a better description. I'm going to give it here, but I just want to try and save us some time. And then you'll want to upload an icon and a logo for your application. The icons are 16 by 16 and the logo is 75 by 75 and I'm talking about pixels there. And so if we go back and take a look at our page, here's the little 16 by 16 icon there so you can see uh, in what capacity that actually shows up on the page. Okay, so you're going to upload an icon and a logo. And then the only other thing you need here is a contact email address and a user support email address. You don't have to have any of the other um, privacy policy URLs or anything in here. Because when you create a Facebook application, Facebook is assuming that you're creating an application that anybody can install on their site or on their Facebook page rather. But what we're doing is creating one for our personal use. So we don't need to worry about, you know, having privacy URLs and support URLs and that sort of thing. So what we're going to do here is just save changes. And then we're going to go over here to, and we're going to click on the tab that says on Facebook. And this is where we're actually going to create what's called the Canvas settings. This is where we're going to place the URLs that lets Facebook know where our HTML document exists or where it is hosted. So the Canvas URL, now this is the main URL where the, the HTML page is hosted. So it is not the entire URL. We only want to put in the main site URL here, in this case, Social Media Power. That's really the only one we need in there. We don't need to worry about the secure one. We do want it to show scroll bars just in case. Then we're going to continue to scroll down until we get down here to tab name. Remember that's this name right here that we're going to give our custom tab. So in this case we're going to call it, I'm just going to give it a different tab name from the other one because I'm eventually going to delete this. And then we need the URL, the tab URL, and that's the entire URL that we need this time. So we need to copy that URL, place it in here, And that is actually all we need to do. So we've gone through the first two steps, which is to create our HTML page with certain specifications, which really is just about making it the right size. And now we've created our Facebook application. OK, so the next step is to make it so that our Facebook app shows up on our page. Now to do that, we need to go down to View App profile page. Now once we're here, we need to go down on the left hand side and click on Add to my page. And then we want to select whichever page we want to add it to. Then in this case we want to add it to my author page. So we'll click on Add to page and then close this out. And now when I go back to view the page and I refresh the browser, it will actually show the new app that we just put on the page. When we click on that, we're actually going to see the same thing as when we clicked on the original because we actually gave it the same URL. But we could easily have given it a different URL and it would have showed us something different. So it really is that easy to create an iframe app within Facebook to create a custom tab for your page. Now the very last thing I want to show you is how to make it so that that page will show up as the landing page. And you want to do that by going in and editing your page information. So we want to go back to our Facebook page that we added the app to. We want to go to edit page 
and then we want to go to manage permissions. Once we're here we see where we can select any of our tabs as the actual default landing tab for our page. So if we click on the application we just created and save those changes then go back to refresh our browser. We'll see that it uses the custom tab that we just created as the landing page for our Facebook page. And that is all there is to it. Thank you for listening. If you are interested in enhancing your resume with a social media certificate from an accredited university, then visit socialmediacertificate.net for information on the online courses I teach for Drury University. Please also visit our sponsor, Plum Web Solutions. That's Plum with a B, WebSolutions.com.